our philosophy was to reduce things that could break. We want to make sure that for the end user, the customer, the it's basically impossible to do it wrong. You can, but even last summer where uh, you were there and you saw, you witnessed the first functional prototype of the Bluskamat in the wood case. And you, you saw this thing working and it, it onboarded something like 200 people who the vast majority did not already have a wallet application and they had never actually transacted with Bitcoin before. Uh, certainly, I would say 99% of them never used Lightning because that was, even, even last summer, it wasn't so widespread or used much. Uh, and we were recommending the Phoenix wallet because at the time it was uh, the best and uh, they, they integrated this concept of turbo channels, which was something that also was very interesting for us. And we really wanted this whole experience to involve a wallet that supported turbo channels on Lightning because it enables a, a new user to install a, a wallet application go up to this machine, this ATM, put some coins in, coins, you don't even need whole bills, push a button, scan a QR code, and they instantly receive their Bitcoin from somewhere, magic, and now they can spend it right away. This is not possible with the current generation of legacy Bitcoin ATMs. This is why we call Buscomat the next generation Bitcoin ATM because it enables Use user experience that is not possible now or wasn't until this. So this is what we wanted the whole experience to be. We, we were tired of users coming to Padani Polis, for example, or uh, when we went to festivals or conferences, we saw so much friction in this initial onboarding for new people that it really turned a lot of people away. But now with Lightning and with these new extra, let's say, protocols such as LNURL, it's really a game changer for what you can build. It's, it's been very nice to see how much innovation has happened even just in the last year. It's amazing.